in this video, we will see a problem on calculation of Poisson's ratio. Here is the question. Whatever is given here, I will read that and write it in the form of data. Let us get started. A bar of 12 mm diameter, so diameter I denoted by small d, 12 mm diameter is tested on UTM. UTM is universal testing machine. And the following observations are noted. First, gauge length, which is 200 mm. Gauge length is the original length, 200 mm of the bar. Load at proportional limit is 20 kilo Newton. Load is denoted by P. 20 kilo Newton. Change in length at proportional limit is 0.2 mm. Change in length is denoted by delta L. Change in diameter at proportional limit is delta D. The change in diameter 0.0025 mm. Calculate the value of Poisson's ratio. This is the first question. Poisson's ratio is denoted by mu and Young's modulus denoted by capital E. So this is the question we have. Since the diameter is given, first I will find the area of the rod in the data itself. So it is pi by 4 into 12 square and therefore area comes out to be 113.097 mm square. So here we have to calculate mu which is called as Poisson's ratio. So I'll start with the solution part. Here in the solution, we can start it in this way that since Poisson's ratio is given by mu is equal to lateral strain upon linear strain therefore mu is equal to lateral strain is denoted by e suffix l and linear strain is denoted by small e so this would be our equation number one. I'll highlight this and it becomes equation number one for us. Now, since we have to find out lateral strain and linear strain so that we can calculate mu, now for lateral strain it will be change in the lateral dimension and that lateral dimension is delta d. So here I'll say that since lateral strain E suffix L is equal to change in diameter upon the original diameter. So here the change in diameter is given as 0 0.0025 and original diameter is 12. So from this I'll first get the lateral strain and my answer is 2.083 into 10 raised to minus 4. Now after getting lateral strain we will calculate linear strain. I will write down also linear strain is equal to change in length upon original length. Change in length is given 0 0.2 original length is 200 mm. So from this linear strain comes out to be 1 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now after getting lateral strain, after getting linear strain, we can put the values in equation 1 to get Poisson's ratio. So therefore, put lateral strain E suffix L and linear strain in equation number 1. So therefore, mu is equal to lateral strain is 2.083 into 10 raised to minus 4 linear strain 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this mu value comes out to be 0 
this is our first answer next after getting poisson's ratio the second question is to calculate modulus of elasticity now modulus of elasticity we will get it in the formula of delta l which is deflection so i'll say that now since deflection in the bar is given by delta l is equal to pl upon ae so here we want the value of e so i'll shift young's modulus that is capital e on one side and pl upon a into delta l onto the other side putting the values p is 20 kilo newton so it is 20 into 10 raised to 3 newton length is given as 200 mm area we have found out in the data 113.097 and change in length is 0.2 so from this if i calculate i'll get the answer as therefore capital e comes out to be 176.84 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square this is the second answer so here in this video we have seen how to calculate the poisson's ratio and young's modulus poisson's ratio our first answer it was 0.208 and the second question was young's modulus whose value is 176.84 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square once we have found out these values we can say that the problem is completed